Good morning. I'm Gary Gould, the Chief Executive Officer of the Tampa Jewish Community Center and Federation, and it's my sole responsibility to say on this momentous day, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to do something very special with this iconic building. We're going to turn it into what I honestly believe will be the most innovative and extraordinary Jewish Community Center in the nation. And the folks here today, all of you and the people on the stage, have made this project a reality. It takes a dedicated and determined number of people, a large number of people, to make something this incredible happen. And unfortunately, I can't begin to start naming all of the people, but I do want to express gratitude to some special groups. First, thank you to the elected officials who have been involved with this project. They have shown unstinting leadership and helped us secure significant resources to make this project happen. Thank you to the JCC and Federation's Board of Directors for having courage and vision and wisdom to embark on this phenomenal project. Thank you to the large number of key volunteers who have helped out on every aspect of this project, including finding this building and helping us raise $19.4 million so far, and their work isn't done yet. Thank you to our three sets of architects, our owner's rep, our contractor, and to all the many people who have helped on the design of this project because we're going to be remaking what a JCC can be with this very unique and innovative design. Thank you to our neighbors and the community leaders here in West Tampa who have embraced us with open arms. Thank you to the behind-the-scenes heroes of this project, the extremely skilled and hardworking colleagues of mine at the Tampa JCC and Federation. And last but not least, thank you to our donors. The people sitting in the front rows and throughout this building have really stepped up. Thank you for your wonderful generosity, for your incredible support, and for your passionate commitment to this community. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. I stand before all of you today extremely grateful for your tremendous support. There's just There's just one individual I am going to name today, as well as introduce, and he's our Master of Ceremonies, the very talented Executive Director of the Tampa JCC, the one and only Jack Ross. We're extremely fortunate to have been able to persuade Jack to leave his legal career and join us on this project. We gave him a compass, we gave him a dream, and we told him to make magic happening. And with your help, he's doing that. Jack Ross. Wow. Thank you, Gary. Good morning. Welcome. Congresswoman Kathy Castor, Florida State Senator Jeff Brandis, Florida State Representative Dana Young, Hillsborough County Commission Chair Sandy Merman, Tampa City Mayor Bob Buckhorn, Tampa City Councilman Harry Cohen, welcome. And among our audience, we welcome many other elected officials and their distinguished colleagues who I would like to have stand right now to be recognized. We also welcome West Tampa Civic Association and community leadership, members of the Tampa Jewish community, member, members of the Tampa Press Corps, friends. Welcome to the official groundbreaking and name and logo unveiling of the new JCC at the Fort W. Homerly Hesterly Armory. <laughs> Nearly three and a half years ago, in his capacity as CEO of the Tampa Jewish Community Center and Federation, Gary Gould put forth a unique vision and a challenge to the JCC 
Federation Board of Directors, a board uh, at which time I served, that would set this organization on an historic and transformational course. Transformational for the Tampa Jewish community, transformational and revitalizing for an, an historic Tampa landmark, and transformational in that his vision put us on a path to join with the extraordinary changes now underway or being planned throughout the city of Tampa. His creative vision for this new facility was responsive to and reflective of a great need within the Jewish community, a need born out of both new and old realities involving communal demography, communal psychology, and economics. The beautiful Maureen and Douglas Cohen Jewish Community Campus was and is thriving with approximately 1,000 people per day who visit her campus. But there was also a strong need for development of a second Jewish community center in the south end of Tampa. And that was at the core of this new vision. And as a result of so many dedicated individuals, many of whom are here in this great space today, we have reached a milestone moment, the groundbreaking and name and logo unveiling of the new JCC project. Our soon to be named new JCC is truly a communal endeavor, an effort supported by the broadest coalition of community-based constituents, both public and private, as can be imagined. The office of Governor Rick Scott, the State of Florida Legislature, Hillsborough County Commission and Historic Preservation Board, Tampa City Council, Tampa's Office of the Mayor, the Tampa Architectural Review Committee, various West Tampa civic and community-based organizations, numerous private donors led by Shauna and Brian Glazer, Penny and Jeff Binnick, Sarah and David Schur, the Mezra family, the Williger family, the Linsky and Rosenblatt families, and so many other generous donors, as well as numerous corporate donors and foundation grants. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our kihila. This is our community. And we are proud to have arrived at this milestone moment together with you. Now, before we say or proceed to the reciting of the blessing to mark a special occasion, the Shechianu, I want to make special mention about the scope of the project. I want to let you know that we're not just building a new JCC but we're also developing a new entrepreneurial model for how we operate at JCC. Gary's vision for this new facility includes a model for sustainability that is being watched carefully by JCCs across the country, as well as by the National Jewish Community Association, our umbrella organization, to ensure that the new center flourishes financially, as well as, as, well as programmatically, we've created partnerships that complement our own mission. We'll be leasing space to the City of Tampa's Visual Arts Program, to Tampa General Hospital for health and wellness offerings, and to Tampa Jewish Family Services for much needed crisis, crisis counseling and food bank services. We will also operate a premier event center with the capability per, to present a broad spectrum of life and corporate events. We will develop a robust fitness and aquatic center with state-of-the-art equipment, personal training, group exercise, and a full range of aquatics programming. We are also creating an innovation center that will serve as a business incubator slash accelerator for companies in Israel looking to expand into the U.S. market. The advisory board for this exciting new project is being chaired by the JCC Federation's immediate past president, Sue Schoenbaum. And we plan to obtain a small equity position in these fledgling companies, these transplanted companies, which will ultimately further our sustainability goal. And now to our milestone moment. In Jewish tradition, we mark such an occasion, such a moment in time, with the reciting of the Shekhianu, a blessing that gives thanks to God for enabling us to have reached this, this experience, this special occasion. And to lead us in Shekhianu, I'd like to call Jonathan Ellis, Rochelle Walk, the co-presidents of the Tampa JCC and Federation to the podium. Please join us. Baruch Atah Adonai Elohenu Melech Halom Shehekianu Vigianu Vigianu Luzman Hazeh. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the Universe, who has granted us life, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this occasion. Thank you. Thank you, John and Shelley. 
And now we will hear from a distinguished lineup of speakers, all of whom have supported this project in extraordinary ways. They are our political champions, individuals who have demonstrated leadership, exceptionalism in public service, and a true commitment to building community. First to the podium, it is my great pleasure to introduce our city of Tampa Mayor, Bob Buckhorn. First of all, to all of you, congratulations. I want to introduce someone who obviously is very special to me and through whom I met a lot of you 25 years ago, former Mayor Sandy Friedman. Sandy. I would ask that you just close your eyes for a second and imagine this building in 1941 when it was constructed. And imagine the place that it played in Tampa's civic and social life for 50 or 60 years. A place where families came to have graduations and proms and bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs and where the wrestlers grappled out there on the floor. Where Mike Suarez's dad worked right here behind me at the concession stand. And I would ask you to think about that chapter in Tampa's history. But I would also ask you to close your eyes and think about Tampa's next chapter. And think about the role that this building will play in the amazing transformation of our city. And you think about the partnerships that should be a model for how government should work from the governor, to the Florida legislature, to the county commission, to the city of Tampa, all working together for a common good and a common cause. And I think about what West Tampa is going to look like over the next five years. The transformation of a neighborhood that begins right here on Howard Avenue and stretches through North Hyde Park to the Hillsborough River, so that that river becomes the center of our urban experience, anchored on the western edge by the JCC. And that urban experience flows through what Jeff Finnick is going to do at Channelside, and through other partnerships like Lay Meridian with Gary Prosterman and Waterworks with Richard Gonsmart. This is the beginning of something special. This is the beginning of what Tampa will look like 10 years from now. This anchor on Howard Avenue will serve this community in ways that it hasn't ever been served before. Jews and Gentiles brought together here at a facility for a common purpose. This is a great day. And it wouldn't have happened without all of you who believed in something bigger than just yourselves, who recognized what this could be to our community. To some of the young children here who, but for you, might become casualties to the streets, but they will now have some place they can come home that is safe, where they can learn, where they can be embraced, where they can have a better shot at life. This is a special day. So I would thank all of you that had a part in this. Those that gave, those that will continue to give, those who perhaps could not give, but are willing to work. Think about what this city will look like five years from now. It will be a different place. And it will be a different place because you believed. You believed in the cause, you believed in the mission, but most importantly, you believed in Tampa. Thank you, and congratulations. Well, good morning. Mayor Buckhorn, that is the right and exciting vision for the city of Tampa and our community, and I'm thrilled to be here this morning. Uh, as we reflect upon the, the history and the past of uh, Homer Hesterly Armory, uh, 
this color, it does have a colorful history, but the truth is that it sat vacant for far too long. And what's truly exciting today is what it will become and how it will lift West Tampa and the entire community. So I'm grateful to the Tampa JCC and Federation and to all of you. Uh, just think about what will be happening here. Uh, one thing that's dear to my heart is the new expanded preschool because my two daughters attended JCC Preschool South and I see Chrissy Laxer and Andrea Graham and Sherry Mesra and remember those days when we were all dropping off our kids together but the truth is it's too, we've outgrown that uh, for preschool. We need to do a better job for children here at this preschool and for children all across West Tampa. The Art Center, Sarah, is that partly inspired by uh, your love of the arts and so many of you who love the arts? The recreational facilities that will be second to none uh, in this community, the community space. Jack Ross is, and Gary, you have had the right vision for a uh, new entrepreneurial spirit here because the JCC is flourishing, but we need to look further and farther for the future of this community, and it is happening right here. Uh, secondly, West Tampa has always kind of been stuck. We're stuck be beside the excitement and the redevelopment of South Tampa. Downtown is coming along. Thank you, Jeff and Penny Vinnick and all of you. Uh, the Carrollwood area has always boomed. The West Shore area has is ex is uh, grown as well. And something about West Tampa where it hasn't been lifted up like other neighborhoods. Well, thank you, Tampa JCC and Federation, because you are going to be the linchpin, the future of West Tampa and this entire community. I'm grateful for your investment. I'm excited to see what is to come. The future is right here at the old armory, but the new JCC. Thank you so much. Well, we're exactly about a, a 1,500 feet from my district, so uh, I guess that's close enough that I can, can give a few remarks. You know, the joy of being a father of three is that I've read the same book now a thousand times. And I was thinking about last night what, what I would, uh, what I would uh, think about today, or, uh, and, and I was reading the book, The Giving Tree. And I'm sure you've all have read it, you know, the story about the tree and the young boy and how he plays on the branches and he eats the apples. And as he grows older, he, he, uh, he and the tree have this interesting relationship throughout their lives. And, and, I, and I'm thinking about this building and about the interesting relationships that will grow and that this building has had throughout its life. And the opportunity to be reborn and to start anew with new relationships and to have new children playing on its branches and to have new relationships where you're helping to grow small businesses like the tree did with its branches. And sometimes you finally just need a place to sit, just as in the giving tree and the wonderful opportunity that this place will have to serve people throughout their lives, just like the story of the giving tree. So with that, God bless you. Thank you for everything that you've done for this community and will continue to do. Thank you, and God bless the great state of Florida. Thanks. Thank you. When I first came here uh, about two years ago and met Jack Ross and Gary Gould with my uh, legislative colleague, Senator Brandis, I never thought we'd actually be here because it was dripping from the roof and there were puddles on the ground and it was just, it, it, it showed the years of neglect. But the enthusiasm and the commitment and the steadfast just knowing it was going to be real from Gary and Jack led me to believe that yes, we would in fact be here and what a great project. Uh, Senator Brandis and I uh, walked the halls of Tallahassee looking for funding and uh, we sold this project with the help of every single person um, in this room. And this isn't just a Gary and Jack Ross project, every single person here committed and did something to help this project. As Mayor Buckhorn said, it's not just financial, it's the work that you put in and the support and love that you've given this project over the years that has brought it to this point. And how wonderful 
for us to be able to have something like this in West Tampa, um, in my district, or close to my district. And finally, we can have a, an event center that's not a la carte pavilion, so we don't have to drive all the way up there. It's great. And um, I think that uh, I just want to close by saying uh, to Jeff Vinnick, if you're here, go lightning. Let's, let's get it done tonight, tomorrow night. Thank you, Dana. And we are certainly turning over a new chapter. Today starts the beginning of, of what we've all known would happen at some point. You know, we've all been driving up and down Howard and Armenia thinking, wonder what's going to happen to that place. And um, Jack and Gary and David certainly put their ideas together to really make this happen. And the iconic history will never take a back seat to what this is going to offer. But what is going to happen is the catalyst for change that the Jewish Community Center is going to bring. And again, thanks, we're all referring to you, Jeff, today, <laughs> to Jeff Vinnick. He's given us the redevelopment bug. And we have certainly, it has hit West Tampa. And this community is going to become so vibrant and so alive. And the I-275 corridor that's being expanded and all the business opportunity that's going to develop. And they're going to be the catalyst. They're going to be the hub of what happens in Tampa. So we couldn't be more excited. When I met with Gary and uh, David and Jack, it was easy for the county to contribute because of what we're doing at the county, saying diversity matters. And that's what the statement will be for the Jewish Community Center, that everyone has the opportunity regardless of religion. And that is a huge theme, thanks to Commissioner Kevin Beckner, that he has brought to the table for us at the county. And that is, that's something that's very important and near and dear to us. So I thank you to everyone here. I know you're here. I can look at your faces. Everyone's contributing. And I thank you all from the bottom of our hearts. We have more work to do, but let's get the shovel in the ground. Let's make it happen. Get it built. Open the doors. And we'll all revel in the great change it's bringing to this area. Thank you. Well, I will be very brief, but I have to say it, it's really overwhelming to sit here on this stage today with this fine group of individuals and dedicate this facility. I grew up swimming at the pool on Horatio, and it was uh, the Jewish Community Center on Horatio. My dad is somewhere in the audience right now. My brother and I were there every day. We went to camp there. We took swimming lessons there. We literally grew up with the, the Jewish towers right next door. And it was just a marvelous place to be. And this community has always opened its arms and embraced children. And that is what will really happen in this facility. I want to uh, make a special word of thanks to my colleagues on the Tampa City Council. We had uh, a lot of night meetings, a lot of thorny land use and zoning issues, parking issues to deal with related to this property. We were creative, we took public comment, and we always unanimously did everything we could to move this project forward. So Councilman Charlie Miranda, Councilman Mike Suarez, Councilman Guido Maniscalco, I see you all here today. I want to thank Chairman Frank Reddick, Councilwoman Mary Mulhern, who was on the council at the time, and also Councilwoman Yvonne Yoli Capin and Lisa Monteleone. It was, it was uh, a tremendous effort on their behalf uh, many, many times, and they worked hard. And I appreciate it, and our community thanks you. Once again, I want to thank all of you for what each of you have done for the state of Florida, for the county, Hillsborough County, for the city of Tampa, for our community, and for this remarkable project. Thank you very much. At this time, I'd like to recognize some of our key professionals who have been hard at work from its very inception on this incredible project. Our architect of record, Saul Fleischman of Fleischman Garcia Architecture, and his colleagues. Our design architect, Jordan Behar, Nishtavan Parizans of Behar and Parizans Architecture. Our JCC Preschool Interior Architect, Richard Hartman and Hart of Hartman, Hartman Architecture, and his colleagues. Our general contractor, Alan and Josh Baumstein of Creative Contractors, 
Incorporated and their remarkable colleagues. And to our owner's rep, Jonathan Moore of Envision Design, who has guided me through this process. Also to our many attorneys, Shoemaker, Lupin, Kendrick, thank you. And to Schutz and Bowen, the law firm of Jeffrey Berger, who's been just magnificent, and the land use attorneys of Singer and O'Donnelly. Thank you very much. And now, it is a great pleasure to introduce you to two gentlemen who Gary Gould wisely recruited to be part of this project from its very inception, long before the armory was ever considered as a site for the new JCC. They have both lived this project, they have both breathed this project, which as you can imagine over the months has been an incredibly dusty proposition, and they have both significantly contributed to this project with their own resources, as well as with great personal sacrifice, taking time away from their careers, and their personal lives for the greater good of making this transformational project a reality. Ladies and gentlemen, they are our volunteer co-chairs of the new JCC Armory Development Committee, David Schur and Sam Linsky. Wow. Good morning and welcome to this monumental milestone moment. It's been my great pleasure to be part of this exciting and transformative project since its inception. With this moment, I've come full cycle over the last 20 plus years when I was involved with the JCC's move to the north end of Tampa in response to demographic shifts underway at the time. And I'm still in my 30s. It's now my great privilege to be part of the team ushering this historic expansion of the JCC back to the South End. My special thanks to my wife, Sarah, who's been so understanding of the many hours, both day and night, spent on this project. You've heard the word transformative mentioned several times today, and this is no understatement. Listen to this. The fact is, that more than two out of every three Jewish people, Jewish persons living in our community are unaffiliated or disconnected from Jewish life. Two out of three. This project stands to change that dynamic as well as reach far beyond the Jewish community by providing a platform act of activities and programs relevant to both Jewish and non-Jewish members alike. Let's envision what's going to be in here. Those things include a state-of-the-art physical fitness and aquatic center, a visual art center operated by the city of Tampa. Our special thanks to Mayor Buckhorn for his vision in the, as far as the arts in Tampa is concerned, and to Bob McDonough in bringing this to fruition. A venue for dramatic arts programming, a health and wellness offering, a premier event center capable of entertaining up to a thousand guests in various size spaces for a wide variety of life and corporate events. I'm talking about sitting down, eating a meal. Class A meeting space, a venue for film festivals and enriching lecture series, an innovation center, which you heard about earlier, the gold standard of the highest quality early education program in Tampa Bay, the exceptional JCC preschool, a teen club and after school program, and a south branch of the very successful Jewish Family Services that helps counsel Jewish and non-Jewish families. I'm sure you'll agree that the above describes the word transformative. Joining me in ushering in this milestone moment and to assist in the unveiling, the name and logo of our new JCC as we break ground his friend and fellow volunteer, Sam Linsky. Thank you, David. Uh, Jack Ross had given me a, a script to go by, but I don't uh, do well with censorship, so uh, here it goes. I'll stay within the guardrails, I promise. Uh, when I joined the board of the Federation in 2009, I was certainly interested in the overall mission of the organization. However, I was really a single issue voter. 
uh, I came in with, with one focus, which was somehow getting the JCC back to South Tampa or adding to the wonderful JCC, sort of expanding uh, what we're doing on the North Campus with the Cone Campus. And uh, as Harry said, I as well grew up here swimming at that pool, playing tennis, and uh, have a lot of fond memories growing up uh, of the South Tampa JCC. Uh, in my wildest dreams, though, I couldn't have imagined being here this day at this uh, historic facility. And uh, you know, someone who deserves mention is, uh, is Jim Schimberg. He's looking away there. But uh, Jim was instrumental in helping us uh, really realize the, uh, well, not only the potential, the potential's there, but the, uh, the fact that this was actually a real possibility of bringing a South Tampa JCC to the site as he was ably serving Mayor Buckhorn. Uh, Jim, thank you. you uh, you've got a great eye for real estate, and this is a, a coup d'etat. So thank you, Jim. And he's obviously continuing to serve the community um, on a, uh, an, another project that, uh, that's been mentioned once or twice today here. So uh, this is going to be, you've heard the word transformative mentioned multiple times today. It will be transformative for the Jewish community. I have young children. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm not exactly objective. I'm, I'm partial when it comes to the need for a facility like this here. And it's going to be absolutely incredible. But uh, it's been mentioned, the mayor mentioned uh, the history behind this site, uh, not on the building itself, which, uh, which was actually <coughs> opened on December the 8th, 1941, the day after Pearl Harbor, but in 1898, Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders actually encamped on the site before they set off for Cuba in the Spanish-American War, so incredible historical significance. Uh, we've, we've heard wrestling, Gordon Sully called many a wrestling match here, uh, Pink Floyd, James Brown, The Doors, Buddy Holly, Elvis Presley five times. Incredible. And of course, you know, two of the uh, most important figures in the 20th century, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and President John F. Kennedy also spoke here. So uh, incredible historical significance to be able to bring uh, this facility back and give it to our citizens of Tampa, uh, help be a catalyst for redevelopment in West Tampa is incredibly gratifying to me as a Tampa native, and uh, it's, uh, it's truly special. Now. Uh, the last few weeks, by any measure, have been pretty good for my friend Brian Glazer. Uh, over the weekend, Manchester United secured a Champions League spot, effectively secured a Champions League spot for next year. For, for us fans of the beautiful game, that's a big deal. A um, couple weeks ago, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, last week, I guess, week and a half ago, there was, a, there was the NFL draft, which I know all of us followed, which. Uh, we hope will uh, will be the catalyst for our second world championship in the not too distant future. Not much pressure there. And most importantly, the man really married up. Uh, as you can see, his beautiful wife Shauna is sitting next to him, and uh, he had a wonderful wedding. Uh, it was a, a, a truly uh, fantastic weekend, and uh, we're all thrilled for uh, for you, Brian and Shauna. Thank you. Now, uh, we've heard public-private partnership mentioned a few times here today, and uh, just thank you all. Just an incredible example of, of government working the way that it's supposed to, and uh, all the private donors in the room, thank you too. It obviously doesn't happen without you. You know, oftentimes when you go and try to identify a, a lead or an anchor donor for a project, uh, it's a passive sort of an endeavor. They're willing to write a check, but uh, they really don't want to be involved. Uh, this could not have been further from the truth. From the very beginning of the conceptual phase of this project, uh, Brian was heavily involved. Uh, we went through the architectural RFP process in his offices. He was engaged from the beginning. He has great taste. Uh, he has great passion for this project and this community. And uh, the culmination of a lot of work um, brings us here today. There's a lot of work still to come. Uh, however, uh, this, is, uh, this is truly a special momentous occasion. Uh, David. It is now my honor to announce the name of this remarkable new facility. Welcome to the Brian Glazer Family JCC, named in honor of Brian and his family for his extraordinary foresight and exceptional generosity. Without further ado, the co-chairman of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Mr. Brian Glazer.
lucky I had a tie in the closet that matched this morning. So thank you, thank you very much. Um, no, I'm, I'm thrilled to be here on this very special occasion. Uh, the, the dream is becoming a reality. You know, I've spoken on about the JCC before and about the importance of this center, but this is very important to me. Um, in February of 2013, I went to lunch at Malio's with uh, Sam and Gary to discuss the kind of, I think that was when the, the meeting to work me over uh, took place, to participate in this project. And um, at the time of the meeting, you know, I was a, a single man with the idea of meeting somebody, having a family, and using the JCC as a center of my life in South Tampa. And at the same time, to change a neighborhood. Well, two years later, all these dreams are becoming a reality. I am married, we are breaking ground, and we are changing a neighborhood. In July of, two, of 1955, Elvis Presley came to perform in this building. It was actually his second time performing here, and, uh, and both times, the first two times, he wasn't even the headliner. In fact, the headliner on that day was actually Andy Griffith. And uh, Elvis Presley was one of eight other people on the, uh, on the marquee that day. But what made that day so special was that a local photographer was hired to come by and take a picture of Elvis while he performed. And he actually probably performed right around where we're standing right now. And that picture graced Elvis Presley's first album that came out the next year. This picture was taken right here where we're standing. That concert, where the picture was taken, launched an incredible musical career. For over 50 years, the popularity of Elvis Presley has remained strong. It's my hope that on this day we'll be launching another fantastic era, this time for the armory itself and for its new use and for the entire community. So on behalf of my wife, Shauna, we want to thank all the donors who have contributed to get to this project to this point. And we look forward to making many, many lasting memories for year to, years to come. Thank you. I'd like you all to put a save the date in your calendars. You're all cordially invited to the grand opening in September of 2016, just a little bit more than one year from now. Thank you again to everyone who has participated in this project. This ends our formal event right now. Uh, we're going to have some pictures with our top, top donors and uh, you're welcome to stay around, have some water, ask some questions, and again, thanks to everyone.